ABP. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, Party. teacher. Hey, perfect. Okay, very good. Uh, Diego, I'm going to put you on mute just because I hear the noise. Uh, Ana, uh, welcome. Uh, creo que usted se, se incorporó en, esta, en este módulo, ¿verdad? Al grupo. Yes. Yes, yesterday. Okay, tell us tell us about you. Tell us something about you. Okay. I um my name is Ana Molina and I am 42 years. I live in San Salvador in okay. Colonia La Rabida. Okay. I live with my father, my brother and my nephew. Uh, I am a a, a study uh, for uh, cooking. Okay. Um, and my favorite hobby is listen to music and read a books or articles about that medicine or different things about that. Okay, excellent. So you're studying to be a chef? Yes. Okay, good, excellent. Uh, Ivo. Uh, yes. You want to tell us something about you? Uh, well, um, I'm Ibu. I'm 84 years old. I'm a software testing. And my hobbies are playing drums. I'm a musician. I like to play football. And I like to play video games. OK, good. Well, thank you. Um, let's see. I think everybody else eh, is, eh, Jose se introdució ayer. Nineve, do you want to tell us about you? Okay. My name is Nini Hernandez. Uh, I work in the Cameron Hotel. Um, I like doing exercise, but in this quarantine, I am only in house <laughs> with my child. Are you doing exercise in your house? Yes. Just a little uh, with um, by Facebook are videos for dance, and I, okay. I love it. <laughs> good, good, excellent. Okay, uh, Roxana, nos escucha. Uh, Roxana. Ok, yo creo que eh, ayer eh, sí lo escucho, dice. Ok, este, Roxana, eh, tiene el, el mute en su micrófono. Tal vez por eso no la podemos escuchar a usted. Si le quita el mute al micrófono, intente hablar. Yo creo que sí la vamos a poder escuchar. Ok, very good. Eh, yesterday we did uh, adverbs before adjectives, ok? So maybe you remember what we did. Uh, we did an exercise like this yesterday. Uh, we, we used the vocabulary extremely, very, really, pretty, fairly, somewhat. Okay? 
So, for example, uh, let's see, Evo, number one, can you, oh, example. Well, I'm going to read the example first. I somewhat disagree. Okay. It's extremely hot in Africa. Okay, Evo, you're going to do number one. You're going to use the adverbs before the adjective. You play soccer very well. Okay, good job. Uh, Nineveh, number two. Okay. Do you, do you really mean it? Yes, do you really mean it? En realidad, esta es una pregunta. You, have you ever heard in English uh, when someone says, do you really mean it? Es decir, ¿estás en serio? Eh, eh, ¿Estás diciendo lo que sientes? Do you really mean it? Okay. Very good. N number three. Uh, Eve, uh, I'm sorry, Diego. Eh, take your microphone. <laughs> The, the Hi, it's very interesting. Yes, very good. It's very interesting. Good job. Okay, Jose Luis, number four. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Is to come here. Is to come here. Very good. Okay. Okay, very good. You can also change it. You can say is too hot here okay okay or maybe it's too cold here okay very good number five uh let's see alex fuentes number five number five it's he's very intelligent or or it can be he's really intelligent yes very good any of those are correct okay, okay. Uh, Andrea, welcome. This is the exercise that we did yesterday. Solo estamos uh, reviewing what we did yesterday. Can you do number six? Uh, the students are very nosy. Very good, yes. Okay, very good. Number seven, William. William Rosales, number seven. Richard. Yes. What happened? Podría ser como I really wanted to buy the dress. Yes, I really wanted to buy the dress. Yes, you can you can say that. Yes, correct. Okay. Uh, who else do we have? Uh, Roxana, no sé si ya arregló la cuestión del micrófono suyo. Ahí cuando cuando la arregle, pues ahí nos nos no puede hablar. Eh, al parecer creo que está en mute. Uh, ok, ya vamos a revisar eso. Eh, Ivo, again, number eight. Mm, eh, no te escuchamos, estás en mute. She writes poems, poems very often. Yes, very good, excellent. Uh, number nine, you can say it's very amazing or it's really amazing. Number 10, I am very angry with her or I am really angry with her. Okay, very good. So these is uh, adverbs that we use before adjectives. Donde están los adjetivos? Right here. For example, adjective, uh, adjective, interesting. Todos estos son adjetivos. Cold, adjective, okay. Intelligent, adjective. So we put the adverb before, okay. Very good, so this is what we did yesterday. Then uh, I think you had an exercise. Quien hizo el ejercicio de knowledge check en la plataforma? Tenía algo que ver con esto. Había un ejercicio de como una práctica. Una... So, let's go to uh, our, our class, Inglés Pre-Intermedio, Módulo 3. Let's go to our class there. Um, este, yo creo que yo lo hice, teacher. Okay. So, uh, adverbs before... Pero, uh -huh. Perdón, pero fíjese que 
yo este, le, le puse así tal cual como, como decía el ejercicio, pero uh -huh. me parece que empezaba con el ejemplo de Canadá. Ok, let's pero, see. Pero fíjese que, ah no, este sí lo hice, sí, este uh -huh. sí también. Okay, pero este... corregí, uh -huh. como es nuevo para mí esto de la plataforma, yo corregí, uh -huh. pero al final como solo una tuve buena. Okay. Eso me saqué. Ok, ya lo vamos a ver. Tal, eh, el, el siguiente Knowledge Check es el 1.7. Tal vez estás hablando de eso. Sí, es que los dos, pero va, en el segundo no sé por qué las tuve malas también. Porque este corregí y nuevamente me decía que todas estaban malas. Entonces mejor okay. ya no seguí. Ok, ¿quién hizo el, el Knowledge Check? Este, este es el 1.4. I'm doing that, teacher. Ok, very good. Eh, tratenlo de hacer. Las instrucciones dice, bueno, ustedes las pueden leer. Si necesitan ayuda con esto, ahí me, ahí me avisan, ok? Me dicen. Si necesitan ayuda con este. Vamos a la lección de ahora. Today we're going to talk about conjunctions. I want to talk about conjunctions, ok? So, uh, I'm going to put the video first. Eh, normalmente yo pongo el video primero y después le, les... Les doy el reenfuerzo con una presentación mía, ¿ok? Siempre con el mismo tema, solamente pues expandiendo un poquito más. So vamos a ver el video, and then uh, we're going to, um, then I go to my presentation, and then we're going to do an activity. So we're talking about conjunctions. Hi, nice to see you again. This time we'll talk about conjunctions. We'll talk about and but, though, and however. After the explanation, we want you to practice, so please stay with us. Conjunctions. It's an exciting city, and the weather is nice. It's a big city, but it's not too big. It's a big city. It's not too big, though. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. We use AND to connect two positive or two negative ideas. For example, the city is ugly and small. Canada is a big country and very clean. Notice there are two ideas in each sentence which are joined by the conjunction AND. Therefore, we can give more or extra information. Did you notice which punctuation goes before AND? That's right, a comma. Let's talk about the conjunction but. This one connects a positive idea with a negative one and it goes in the middle of a sentence and a comma goes before the conjunction as well. Follow me in these examples. The park is clean but it is very small. The food is good but it is very expensive. We have two conjunctions left. Though and however. These two conjunctions are also used to connect a positive idea with a negative one, but they go at the end of the sentence. Take a look. It's a big city. It's not too crowded, though. He's really good looking. He's not nice, however. Can you write one sentence using though and another one using and? Do it in a discussion box. You may follow our examples as a guide. Okay, okay, very good. I want to go to um, my presentation, okay, and expander un poquito el tema, and, and then we're going to do a practice, okay. Uh, conjunctions. In English, we have eight parts of speech, okay. Esto es solo un repaso, pero en el inglés tenemos todas las palabras de inglés, todo lo que usted, toda palabra en el diccionario va a ser una de estas. Se llaman parts of speech. Ok. Eh, ustedes han visto el noun, right? A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. Ok. Eh, no, me, no les voy a explicar cada una porque no, el tema de ahora solo son los conjunctions, pero solamente es un repaso. En inglés tenemos eight parts of speech. Toda palabra va a encajar en una de estas ocho partes. 
A number one, noun, it's a person, place, or a thing. A pronoun, it can be he, she, her, themselves, todas esas palabras que toman el lugar del nombre propio. He, it, they are pronouns. Adjectives, we use them to describe nouns. For example, a beautiful, interesting, uh, cold, hot. These are adjectives. Number four, verbs. They show action, okay? Uh, cook, walk. Eh, pueden ser también en el pasado, cooked, walked. Or it can be ing, presente continuo. Cooking, walking, okay? Adverbs. Estos son los que vimos ayer. Ok, vimos eh, el adverb modifica el adjective en algunos casos o puede modificar el noun. So adverbs, ok, they are used, uh, it says here, describe and modifies the verb, an adjective or another adverb. Ok, uh, prepositions. Prepositions can be, for example, in, on, at, ok, uh, near, far. Son preposiciones. Nos enseñan dónde está la, la posición de algo. Eh, for example, I can say, my computer is on the table. Okay, la que vamos a ver ahora es conjunctions. Conjunctions are used, are words that are used to join ideas together. Okay, nos vamos a enfocar en conjunctions ahora. Y este, finalmente tenemos interjections. Interjections are words that express emotions. For example, wow, eso es una interjection, okay? Um, questions, preguntas sobre este, este, es, este cuadrito. La mayoría es un repaso, solo pues ahora nos vamos a enfocar en conjunctions, pero alguna pregunta sobre esto? Okay. Okay, uh, conjunctions. Uh, today we're going to talk about conjunctions. What are conjunctions? It's a word that joins to get, it joins together uh, words or phrases or parts of a sentence. Okay? The most common conjunctions that we use in English are and or but. Son las más comunes. Pero hay muchas, muchas más. Okay? All right. Very good. Uh, La presentación yo se las puedo pasar en WhatsApp. Y ustedes si tienen un viewer para poder ver el PowerPoint, pues ahí creo que no tienen problema viendo. Ok, very good. So, uh, the, the video, we talked about um, four conjunctions. Ok. Y yo le agregué una más que es or. Solamente porque es bien común. Um, so, and, but, though. However, ok, esa es la que el video enseñó y yo la agregué or, ok. So, for example, how can you use and? It is an exciting city and the weather is nice. But, how can I use but? It is a big city, but it's too big. Ok. However, and though, estas se usan al final, o al inicio de la oración. Okay. It is a big city. It's not too big though. Or you can say it's a big city. It's not too big, however. Okay. So estas dos son intercambiables. Pueden ir al final o al principio. Okay. ¿Qué significan esos dos? Okay. However, es, eh, es cuando tú dices. Eh, Eh, a pesar de, ok, eh, creo que cuando te doy, voy a hacer unos ejemplos y yo creo que lo vas a entender. No sé si hay una traducción literal exacta, porque por veces no existe, de español inglés. Pero ya, ya tú vas a tal vez eh, coordinar con alguna expresión en el español que es similar. Ok, and, how can you use and? We use it to join ideas. Normally, ideas that are very similar. For example, 
Yo, eh, estoy hablando aquí de México, ¿verdad? Del clima de México. Y quiero decir dos cosas del clima. The weather in Mexico is dry and hot. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué uso and? Porque puedo decir, perdón, ¿por qué uso and? Porque puedo decir las dos cosas sin usar dos oraciones separadas. ¿Ok? So, mayormente por eso se usa. Para no usar ah. dos o tres oraciones, simplemente uso and y, mi, y, y, la, y lo puedo, puedo decir lo mismo en una sola oración. The weather in Mexico is dry. The weather in Mexico is hot. ¿Verdad que no suena muy bien si yo, le, si yo hablo así? The weather in Mexico is dry. The weather in Mexico is hot. No suena bien si yo estoy hablando con alguien. ¿Verdad? So, I joined them. The weather in Mexico is dry and hot. Another example. Talk to the doctor and explain to him what you are feeling. Okay? So, aquí quiero dos cosas. I want you to talk to the doctor. And I want you to explain what you're feeling. Okay? Es mejor usar el and en vez de hablar en dos oraciones separadas. But, how can I use but? But connects a positive idea with a negative idea. Okay? So, es para contrastar. Uh, for example, I like the beach, but I try to avoid going when it's crowded. Okay? For example, mm -hmm. I like to go to the beach. Uh, I like to go fishing sometimes, but I don't like to go in Semana Santa. I don't like to go in Vacaciones de Agosto because it's too many people. I don't like going. Okay? So, entonces, aquí estoy diciendo, I like the beach, positivo, pero después voy a, hacer, voy a decir algo negativo. I like the beach, but I try to avoid going when it is crowded. Okay? Uh, another sentence, uh, una oración un poquito más uh, avanzada y más larga. The United States had a high volume of coronavirus cases, but we are seeing the number of, we, we are now seeing the number of cases go down. Entonces aquí estoy contrastando. En el pasado tenían un volumen alto, pero ahora ha bajado. Entonces estoy contrastando. The United States had a high volume of coronavirus cases, but now we are seeing the numbers go down. ¿Ok? Eh, y antes que yo uso but, hay una coma. ¿Ok? Very good. However, though, ¿ok? I can use it at the beginning or I can use it at the end. For example, Buenos Aires is a big city. It's not too crowded, though. Okay. Example, he is very rich. He is not a very nice person, however. Es como decir a pesar de. Mm -hmm. Another example, he is very rich. However, He's not a very nice person. Do you see? Estas dos, la, la segunda y la tercera oración, el, el ejemplo es igual, es la misma, la misma oración. Solamente que aquí uso however al final y aquí lo uso al, al inicio. ¿Ok? ¿Cuál es correcta? No, no, ninguna, ninguna es, es, es superior a la otra. Eh, right. pero, pero normalmente yo la uso al principio. Ajá. Y en este caso, eh, como lo está poniendo al inicio o al final, no cambia, digamos, el, lo que yo quiero decir. No, no, no cambio. Mm -mm. Para nada. Eh, yo la uso al, al, al inicio. Okay. Porque normalmente cuando estás escribiendo en inglés, se pone al inicio. Entonces yo, yo la uso así. Ajá. Yes. Tell me. However, y sin embargo. Sí, también. Es, en, es como sin embargo. Hi. También, como okay. sin embargo, o tal, o tal vez puede ser como a pesar de. Ok, for example, look at, look at the sentence, the last sentence. Estoy diciendo que esta persona okay. tiene mucho dinero, pero 
no es una buena persona. <laughs> okay. So it's, uh, that's basically what I'm saying. Okay, very good. Or, um, esta no estaba en la lección, simplemente la voy a agregar porque es bien común. We use or to give options or opinions. For example, uh, if you feel sick, you can go to the doctor or take some medicine. Okay? Very good. So I'm giving options here. Y hay una lección que vamos a ver, creo que ahora o mañana, que es moros. Es el uso de la palabra can and should. Okay. So en ese caso, cuando uso can or should, es bien común que uso or. Que use or, perdón. Um, another example. After the quarantine, you can visit Chile or Colombia. I'm giving you options. Okay, very good. Okay, here I have a sentence. ¿Quién puede poner estas dos oraciones que son separadas, pero yo la quiero decir en una sola oración? Necesito usar conjunction. Me. Okay, go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Carla. I like tea. Okay. I like tea, but I don't like hot, hot tea. Yes, very good. Exactly. Aquí estoy con una idea positiva, contrastando con una idea negativa. Which one do I use? But. Correct. I like tea, but I don't like hot tea. Very good. Okay, excellent. Good job. Okay, questions? Do you have questions for that? No? no. Okay. Eh, hay otras conjunctions? Sí, hay Teacher. otras conjunctions. Uh -huh. Sorry, uh, I, I have a question with, uh, however, uh, well, for me it's a little bit difficult because mm -hmm. uh, you, you said that you can use however at the uh, first part of the of the oración, mm -hmm. the sentence, and mm -hmm. the sentences, and and the final and the finish of the sentences too. But mm -hmm. I don't know what is the the exactly meaning or where is what what is the the the. It's the same. So oh, okay. is one hundred percent the same. No hay diferencia. Oh, okay. Ahí okay. tú usa la que, la que te conviene, la que tú sientes más natural. Okay. Okay, okay hey. very, very good. So, I have an activity that I want to do with you, okay? Let me see that uh, this is what we're going to do. Let me explain here. Uh, I'm going to go to Google, right? Y ustedes pueden, le, le voy a dar el, el link, pero ustedes pueden poner en Google. Eh, mm, best vacation spots. Spots es como decir lugares, rincones. The best vacation spots in El Salvador. Google. Okay? And it's going to give me a list here. Google. Right? And then I'm going to go here. Hay como una, un link aquí abajo que dice more destinations. Do you see? You click there. Y te va a dar como varios lugares. Here in El Salvador. Okay? I want you to describe these places, what you know about the places using conjunctions. Okay? For example, okay. uh, Suchitoto, uh, right? My mother is from Suchitoto. I visit Suchitoto many times. But something I don't like about Suchitoto, it is very hot. Okay? So I can say Suchitoto is a beautiful place, but it is very hot. Okay? He dicho algo positivo y después lo voy a contrastar con algo que no me gusta. Okay? ¿Puedo usar otra conjunction? Sí, claro que sí. I can say, Suchitoto is, the food in Suchitoto is very good and it's not expensive. Okay? So, ustedes pueden describir todos los lugares que conocen que tienen alguna experiencia con ellos. Ok, so aquí hay una lista de lugares. Um, les voy a dar el link. Se lo voy a pasar aquí. 
en el chat. Ok. Denme un segundito. Se los paso aquí en el chat. Es que bien largo el link. Y se lo voy a poner aquí en YouTube. En YouTube en WhatsApp. Ok. Go to groups. And then we're going... You, I just want you to speak. No tienen que escribir nada. Sino que usen los conjunctions. Ok. Try to use the conjunctions as much as you can. Ok. So, um, hay una opción cuando vayan a grupos. Ok. Una persona puede compartir pantalla. Ok. Ahí dice share screen. Entonces, eh, pónganse de acuerdo para que una persona pueda compartir la pantalla y los, que, los tres o cuatro que están en el grupo puedan ver esa, esas fotos y empezar a hablar usando las conjunctions. All right, let's go to groups. Ok. Accept, accept the request. You're going to get the message que dice eh, join group. Ok. Acepten ese mensaje para que puedan ir al grupo. Ese mensaje les cae en Zoom. Ok, uh, Ivo, Carla, accept the request so that you can go to your group. Uh, Marco, Ramirez, accept the request so that you can go to your group. Eh, Carla recibió el mensaje para ir al grupo. Me escucha, Mr. Alex. Yes, I can listen. Ok, Alex, eh, ya estás en la página ahí con, los, con la foto de los lugares. Yes. I will share my, my, my screen. Ok. Dale. Vamos a hacer el experimento a ver si, si podemos ver tu pantalla. Dale. Ok. Can you see my screen? Mm, dice. Ahora. Ah, perfecto. Ok. Very good. Ok. Ok. okay. Alex. Eh, I eh, uh, William, tú también puedes elegir un lugar allí. And I want you to use conjunctions. For example, Santa Ana is very beautiful and historical. Okay. okay. I, I will talk about Santa Ana. I think it's really great. The people is really great there. But on the downtown, it's always crowded. Ah, very good. Okay, good job. Good job. Okay, continue. Very good. Yes, sir. Deadly missing, huh? Alex. No, continue. Thanks. Podría ser como the libertad is very beautiful, but is very este. Peligrosa, ¿cómo es este? Peligrosa, ¿cómo es? Hey, dangerous. 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 Yes. Okay, It's good. Dangerous. Teacher, good job. Mm -hmm. Teacher, the, the word uh, also, it can be a conjunct, conjunction. Sí, sí también. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. It's uh, amazing, but the, uh, but is too crowded. Yeah, <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, it's my About turn. you? Okay. Yes. Okay. Santa Ana is a beautiful city, but is um, 
I, I don't know what it, how do you say sucio it's with uh, a, I lot, is, uh... <laughs> <laughs> a lot of garbage on the street okay uh, sucio yes. is dirty dirty dirty, dirty. yeah dirty. <laughs> 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 okay, very good. You can say yeah. Santa Ana is beautiful Play. and very yeah. historical. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Good yeah. job. Hay mucho also, lugar ahí. also use that, uh, uh, however, however, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it's the same uh, sentence. For example, Santa Ana is a beautiful place. Uh, however, it's... Um, Excellent weather. Uh -huh. Sí. Eh, bueno, no, ahí tienes que hacer, tomar algo positivo, contrastarlo con algo negativo. O When al revés. You use uh, however. Ajá. Sí, porque oh, ahí yeah. el uso de however en ese contexto que, que tú lo estás usando es como decir but. Oh, es yeah. como decir but. So, entonces tienes okay. que tomar algo positivo, contrastarlo con algo negativo, o algo negativo, contrastarlo con algo positivo. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Tú okay. usaste otra, otra que no te diste cuenta, eh, pero usaste also. 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 also también es un conjunction. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ok, yeah. good job. I don't know. <laughs> yes. It's conjunction. Yes. But it's yeah. not... Oh, muy frequently, frequently the use? Yes, normally we say and. Okay. Thank oh. you. Okay, go. Excellent dish, but it's very crowded. San Ignacio is the highest mountain. No, the, the Pital is the highest mountain in El Salvador and the coolest mountain. Another one. Salvador are beautiful, but sometimes are too dirty. Okay. Uh, the museum mm -hmm. in El Salvador. The planet de Rendero. The planet de Rendero. Okay. Is beautiful. Okay. Very cold. Okay. And traffic. The museum in El Salvador are boring, but you can go to learn a lot. You can eat pupusas in Los Planes de Renderos or in Oloquilta. Okay. You can go to the beach uh, to practice uh, surf, or you can go to 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 the, to spend time here. Okay. Very good. Uh, did you practice? Yeah. Okay, Diego, tell me something yes. that use a conjunction. Tell me. Okay, uh, we are talking about uh, the place in El Salvador. Uh -huh. uh, for example, uh, the museum in El Salvador are boring, but you can go to learn a lot. Okay, good. Very good. Marco, can you give me an example? Uh, Ivo, go. Conchagua yeah. is 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 beautiful and and very far. Okay, very good. Ivo. Uh, 
Alegría Lagoon is very beautiful, uh -huh. but it's so far away. Yes, very good. Contrastando, verdad? Very good. Yes. Can you use however? Um, <laughs> it's a little bit difficult. <laughs> okay. However, um, tam también se usa para contrastar. Okay. For example, you can say eh, Santa Ana is very is very beautiful, but um, however, it's very dirty. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, like, like this. Right. You can you can eat pupusas in Los Planes Renderos, however, it's too crowded. <clears throat> Very good. Ahí está. Okay. That is, the, that is the same use. Okay, very good. Okay, let, we're gonna go back now to um, to the session. Okay. Okay. Okay, very good. So I hope that, that you practice, okay? I hope that you had a chance to, to practice, okay? ¿Alguien se quedó fuera? No, yo creo que todos todo pudieron ingresar al grupo, ¿verdad? Yeah. Okay, good, good. All right, so uh, for homework, let me share my computer with you. Uh, for homework, you can do uh, 1.7. Okay, 1.7 here, you have to, you have one sent, two sentences here and you have to make it into one sentence. Okay? Teacher. Yes. I tried to do it uh, um, uh, today, but uh, when I wrote the sentences, uh, mm -hmm. always uh, give me the answer like uh, with mistakes. Okay. Remember, for example, here, tape is very nice. Okay. Everyone is extremely friendly. So, ¿cuál voy a usar? And, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Por veces, si tú deja fuera un puntito, una coma, eh, algo, no va a estar bien. No te, no te okay. Vas a... So, yo te recomiendo escribirla exactamente como está ahí. Si tú, por ejemplo, aquí vienes y vas a usar en y le pones una mayúscula en medio porque la oración empieza con mayúscula va a uh -huh. estar mal Entonces, tiene que ser exactamente como tú como está escrito allí ok 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 so be uh, try it exactly the same if you have problem tell me ok for example en, en mi caso creo que me dio también ¿verdad? Algo escribí mal. Taipei is very nice. The comma teacher. Nice. Comma. Mm, vamos a probar con la comma. No. Yes. Oh, yeah. Correct. Correct. So, entonces usen la coma cuando, cuando es apropiado. And if you okay. have problems, tell me, okay? Okay. Uh, write me. Okay, so you can do this exercise for homework. Uh, this is the number 1.7. 1.7. Mm -hmm. So you can do that for homework, okay? Entonces, eso nos tira a la lección que sigue, 1.9. So let's watch the video, okay, for this section. 
and let's let's talk about it okay okay hi i want you to listen to this conversation and try to identify the model verbs which are being introduced in this audio program also it is recommended for you to practice this conversation with someone else can you tell me a little about mexico city sure i can what would you like to know well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go any time. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Okay, very good. In this lesson, in this conversation, hay una introducción eh, a lo que es la lección 1.11, que es modal, modal verbs. Okay? Um, so, for example, eh, sí me voy a adelantar un poquito simplemente porque quiero explicar can and should. Okay? Eh, para, para, en ese caso, ustedes pueden, eh, pueden llegar allí. Sería bueno que terminen esta sección esta semana. Section one, right? So let me see. Okay. Eh, tenía otra actividad para conjunctions. Ya, ya, ya vamos, vamos a hacerla también. Uh, pero solo quería para que sa sa salir de duda en lo que es la, las conjunctions. Perdón, eh, modal verbs. Okay, modal verbs in English. Modal verbs. Okay, hay varios, hay bastantes. Modal verbs. Okay. Now, for example, maybe eh, ustedes han escuchado que alguien dice should, could, can. Can es el presente, could es el pasado. Uh, have to, uh, you must. Nunca han escuchado esa, must. Ok. Yeah. ¿Algunas otras? How to, teacher. Ought to. Ok. Eh, ¿alguien, ¿Alguien dijo otra? ¿No? Ok, so, you have sh eh, should, could, can, have to, must, ought to, um, would. Okay. Todas estas son modal verbs. Ok. What do I use them for? Normally, I use them when I give a suggestion, okay? Uh, I am suggesting something, estoy sugeriendo, okay? Also, I can use them when I'm giving options. Estoy dando opciones, okay? Uh, also, when it is something very important, okay? I can use all these modal verbs. So let's do some examples, okay? Um, for example, should is for a recommendation. Okay? For example, eh, puede ser en positivo o negativo, okay? During quarantine, you shouldn't watch too much TV. <laughs> okay. Alguien está, está viendo mucha televisión? <laughs> so you say during quarantine, you shouldn't watch too much TV. Okay. Aquí estoy diciendo should. ¿Cómo la estoy usando? Como una sugerencia. Okay. O una recomendación. All right. Um, could is for eh, dándole a una persona una alternativa, alternative, okay? If you feel sick, you could take some medicine, okay? Very good. Eh, hay una que have to. ¿Alguien ha usado have to? Yes. 
¿Cómo la has usado? I have to go to the beach. Yes, very good. Okay. I have to go to, lo voy a cambiar, work. Okay. Why? Because have to is como obligation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Okay. It's like an obligation. Um, nunca ha usado must. Alguien ha usado must. Must is for something. It's like a un compromiso muy importante. Debería. Like a, ¿Ah? Debería. Yes. You must be yes. more gentleman. You must be more gentle. Gentle, como más eh, caballeroso, mm -hmm. cuidadoso, gentil. más gentil. Ajá, uh -huh, okay, very good. Also, um, if you leave the country, <laughs> right, you must take your passport. Yeah? Súper importante, ¿verdad? Yeah. Es como una de esas cosas que tienen que ser. If you leave the country, you must take your passport. Okay, very good. So, uh, practica, eh, prácticamente así se usan. Okay. okay. Very good. Questions? Hey, may I? May también. May is for permission. May I? Yes. May is for permission. Okay. For example, may... I have some water, please. Normalmente, may lo usan los británicos. Okay. Se usa más en Inglaterra okay. que en Estados Unidos. Y también may es bien formal. Okay. Formal. Right? Es para, no sé, imagínate si estás Thanks. en una boda social, o sea, una boda. Right, may I have some water, please? Okay, so something very formal and it's okay. for permission. Okay, very good. Uh, questions? So, poco a poco van a ir uh, aprendiendo. La lección, eh, la del modal verbs es el 1.11. Okay, creo que solo van a hablar de can and should. Pero eh, por si llegan allí y quieren continuar, entonces pues solo quería cubrir esa, esa lección ahí. Eh, questions? Ok. Eh, teacher, ¿nos, nos, ¿nos puede mandar ese texto que acabamos de hacer? Please. Vaya, ok, no hay problema. Ok, very good. Thanks. Eh, this is an exercise here to finish. Nos queda solo cuatro minutos. Uh, let's do it together. ¿Quién me puede ayudar con eso? Using conjunctions. I like tea, but I don't like hot tea. Very good. Uh, can you use however? Yes, right? Pueden usar okay. however? I like tea. Mm -hmm. I like tea, however, I don't like hot tea. Yes, ok, very good. Ahí la usaste al inicio, también la puedes usar al final, no hay problema. Ok, very good. Let's do the next one. The food was delicious. It, perdón, me equivoqué. It was not expensive. The food was delicious mm -hmm. and, it, and it was not expensive. Very good, very good, Evil. Good job. Okay, what else? Um, another one. The movie was fun, but it was very long. Yes, the movie was fun, but it was very long. Yes, very good. Next one. Learning English is fun. It takes a lot of commitment to learn. Learning English is fun, however, it takes 
a lot of commitment to learn. Yes, very good. However, you can use also but, right? Okay. Okay, very good. Next one. Being in quarantine gives me extra time to be with my family. It is very difficult mentally. Being in quarantine gives, gives, gives me extra time to be with my family, but it's very difficult mentally. Yes, very good. Good job. Okay. And the last one, you can go to the beach. You can go, perdón, me equivoqué. You can go to the mountain. You can go to the beach. You can go, but you can go to the mountain. Uh, but, but, or, 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 or. Mm -hmm. you, Porque, you can go to the, sí, sorry. Eh, solo quería aclararle a José que, eh, eh, no uso um, but, porque but es cuando estoy usando una idea positiva con una idea negativa. Okay. Estoy contrastando. Okay. So yeah, you can use or. You can go to the beach or, or you can you go can to the go mountain. mountain. You're given options, right? Okay. También puedo usar could. Right. You can go to the beach or you could go to the mountain. Aquí estoy usando can, do you see? Can. Eh, esa es el, la lección eh, 1.11 que van a ver. Ok, very good. Eh, questions? Preguntas? No, right? So, what did we learn today? Nos puede mandar, y nos puede mandar algún link donde hayan ejercicios, por favor. Eh, sí, sí. Sí, con gusto. Okay. Thank you, teacher. What else? That's it, right? So these are the conjunctions that, that, that we're doing, okay? Eh, alguien, eh, creo que Roxana me preguntó a mí, ella el micrófono ahorita no le sirve, pero Roxana, tú me preguntaste si yo te puedo agregar al grupo de WhatsApp. Eh, en el correo electrónico que tú recibiste de inglés corporativo, aquí voy a compartir mi pantalla rapidito contigo. Eh, En ese correo electrónico hay un enlace. Este es el detalle del curso. Entonces aquí hay un enlace que dice grupo de WhatsApp. Tú le das clic y aceptar o ingresar al grupo. Y creo que te sale un mensaje, ¿verdad? Que si tú quieres ingresar al grupo, tú le das sí. Y ahí vas a agregarte al grupo de WhatsApp. Yo no te puedo agregar, sino que ya estás allí. Solamente tienes que aceptarlo. Okay, very good. Questions? No? Todo bien? No, no, no. that's okay. Okay, very good. So, eh, tra traten de, de, de llevar la plataforma eh, a, al día, ¿verdad? Se pueden adelantar okay. y después vamos a... Se pueden adelantar, no hay problema. Pero okay. lo que no les recomiendo es que se atrasen. Okay, Adelantarse teacher. así, atrasarse no. Okay. 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 Very good. All right. Okay. I'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow then. Okay. okay. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Thank you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.